guys, this is Tamala, and you're watching another exciting episode of Designing with Hope Undesigned, Designing for the Home, Body, and Soul. Now, this video was supposed to have been a follow-up to my last-minute entertaining tip video. In this video, I was going to do a five-minute makeup challenge to show you that you can put your makeup on in five minutes or less for in preparation for those last-minute guests. Well, I had all good intentions on trying to do my makeup in five minutes, but it didn't work. So anyways, I still finished out the video, just making it a, make a makeup tutorial for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy um, this makeup tutorial slash five minute makeup challenge. So stay tuned, you don't wanna miss out. Okay guys, now the first thing you wanna start off with, and that is with a clean, freshly moisturized face, which I've already done, because I did not want to include that part of my makeup regime into this five minute makeup challenge. So I've already set my timer to five minutes, and I'm gonna show you guys, if you can see that or not. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and hit start, and we begin the process. Now, I um, have my foundation in this little cup because I normally mix two together to get a good color. And um, I use these two. I use the Revlon Color Stay in Caramel. And then I also use the Fit Me Matte Poreless. And that is that color is called Coconut. So I mix them together because this is a little bit too red and this is a little bit too light. So I mix them together to get the perfect combination. So let me quit gossiping about that and let's just go ahead and start. Oh, before I do that, I always use my primer. This is e.l.f. primer. So I put just a little bit on the back of my hand and I just smooth that in where I have the oil problems. Okay, so I'm smoothing it in. Real good. Work it into my face. I try to avoid the eyebrow area because if you notice when you put on primer, if it gets anywhere where you're having to add on, especially around the eyebrow area, it makes it difficult. So now while that's calming down on my face and sinking in, then I go ahead and I work on the eyebrows, pull them up. I use this little spoolie right here this helps to give a more unified look okay now this is something different you guys probably don't do i mean i this is when i work on my eyebrows so let me see how much time i got left real quickly oh three minutes i need to go okay well this is an eyeliner that i use to define my eyebrows and pull this up closer I hope, hopefully you guys can still see but i take it and i normally just line my eyebrows just like this with this, I don't go too heavy, just to give a nice, just, and I don't fill it in with this, this is too harsh. This is just a color by e.l.f., it's just your basic brown. You always want your eyebrows to be two shades lighter than your hair color. So you don't want everything, okay? So I got that done, put that back in there while that's going, and then, um, I put on my primer, eye primer. That's by e.l.f. I use a lot of e.l.f. products because they're real good. It's a real good quality makeup and affordable price. Okay, so while that's all sitting in, it's now time to what time I have left. Uh oh. Okay, so two minutes left. Then I'll start adding my foundation and I'll just put it on with a brush. And make sure I get it all over everywhere. Okay, I do that. Down to two minutes, and I come up like this. Put that on there like that. Okay. And there okay, that off is covered right there. Okay. And then I'll put that back and then come back and fix the eyebrows once that's been done. Then I go ahead and fill in with this. And this color is um, a brow filler. I just fill it, my brows in like so. I may not get this done in five minutes, but anyways, if it goes off, I'm still gonna finish it. And then you fill it in. Okay. And 
okay? So then I come in with my MAC base coat, and I fill that in right there, like so. Remember, this is just to have your face on for your guest, okay? That's done. Then I come in with my powder. Oh, I forgot my concealer. How much time I have left? Okay, concealer. 35 seconds. Okay, guys, I'm not going to do this five minute thing in five minutes, but that's okay. You guys can just see how I do my makeup routine. So I just add that on just like this. Okay? And I'm not going to make it, but that's okay. I'm sure you guys are enjoying this makeup tutorial. Actually, I can do it in five minutes, but, you know, when you're under the gun, especially, I'm going to just cancel that right there because that's going to go off, and I'm not going to be able to have it done in five minutes, but this can be done in five minutes. See, and I can't even find my concealer brush. Where is it? We're just going to go ahead. Oh, here it is, right in my face. So anyways, I just... Blend this out, blend this out, okay. Then after that, then I take this powder. This is by ColorGirl, and this color is called, um, what is this called? Medium Deep. And this is just going to set my concealer. Now, by no means am I a makeup guru. I just, this is basically what I do when I get ready to film. Okay, so I've done that. And then I take, for my crease, I have my MAC palette. Oh, okay, someone just called me. We won't answer that, will we? Blow it off, I just fill in the crease a little bit. And then you wanna blend. <laughs> That's pretty dark, you want it that dark. So you blend, I'm probably gonna have to use another brush to blend that in. I think I am because I don't want that that dark and I think if I keep blending with that. Okay, let's get my other blender. Oops, that's not it. We got to blend. Blender. Here it is. So we're gonna blend it. Yeah, things don't turn out the way we always want to turn out. There's supposed to be a five minute makeup challenge, but it didn't turn out that way, but I'm gonna finish out the video anyhow, because I have to get, get the makeup on. And so then I take, and I wanna put some color on my lid. I may go with, mm, since I'm wearing green today, how about put a little bit of green right up in here. Oh, and what I used in the crease was just a real pretty, a matte color black. This is the green that's in this palette. I'm wearing green and just blend that out. Okay. And then we'll flip it over. Then we'll add a little highlight down into the creases. And I'm using all these colors from that right down in there into the crease. I'm gonna blend all that out. Anyways, so we'll take that and we're gonna blend it. Okay. And then I will take my concealer once again. Don't put anything on it, but then I'll just fill in. Well, not really fill in, but just trace over the eyebrows. Give them more definition. Now I don't put I don't put concealer at the top. I think that's just way too much. Um, I'm not gonna answer that. How about if I just shut my phone off? How's that? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we're going to add onto the lid. Where is my black eyeliner? Let's see here. Where is it? Hmm, interesting. Okay, I wonder did my 15 year old come and get black eyeliner? I don't know if you, anyone out there that have any teenagers, here it is. This is by Elf as well. So I'm going to. Let's go ahead and line the eyes like this. I wish I knew how to do the cat eye, but I don't. So I just put this on like so. Okay. 
just only on the top lid and then I'm just filling it where it needs to go down a little bit. Okay. That's done how that looks so far. Now let's go ahead and add my blush. This again is e.l.f. I use a mixture of e.l.f. and MAC products. I think I'm gonna use um, just a darker one with a little. So I just smile and just rub it up on the cheeks like so. Okay. I'm gonna tone that down a little bit. That's a little bit too much pink. So I just come in like this just to blend it out. go and I want to do a little bit of contouring this is by LA girl pro concealer this color is called um, mahogany so I just take that and yes you know I haven't put the powder I've done my foundation because if you put this on before you do your foundation you really can't see the contouring so i always put the foundation on first and then still do the contouring so i start up here that's coming out and then i just start down here and i go down my nose and i start up here and what i'm doing i'm making it look and then i also go on the side okay and I let that sit. Then I come over here and I do just a little bit down here. And then I do just a little bit down here. And I let that sit in for a while. Okay. Okay. And then while that's going, then I come in and I go ahead and apply my mascara. This is just regular cover girl. No, Great Lash, Maybelline. Oops, sorry, Maybelline. And I've been wearing this mascara ever since I've been 16. That's when I started wearing makeup, so you can tell. And this is very black. I've tried other um, mascaras. I have one that I use when I want my eyelashes to really be more um, dramatic or stand out more and I shared that with you guys. It's a brand called Unique. Yonique or Unique. And it really does work, but on this occasion, which you remember is supposed to be a five minute makeup tutorial <laughs> challenge, but I talked too much, so I wasn't gonna be able to do it in five minutes anyways. I was kidding myself, but I'm sure you guys will probably just enjoy um, to see how I put on my makeup, especially when I'm getting ready to shoot a video as well. So I put that on there, and then I normally put some on the bottom. I've read that women over 40 should not apply mascara to the bottom lashes because it enhances our dark circles, but if you conceal pretty good and don't make your bottom eyelashes look like spiders, I think we can get away with it. I'm 45, I, I have no reason to hide my age, because some of us didn't make it to 45, so that's a blessing within itself. So I'm 45, and so when people tell me I can't do something, I always try to find to make it work. And putting mascara on the bottom lashes makes it work. Okay. Now, we put that back. And so now we deal with the concealer, the contouring. I have this small little brush here to put in the contour better. It's e.l.f. contour blush brush. So I take that and I normally just work it down like this. And then I go this way and bring it down, fill it in everywhere. Okay. Make sure it's blended in real good. Okay. And then you come on this side. You, rem you remember I put some over on this side. And the reason why I did it after I did the blush, just so I'll know where to contour underneath my blush. And for all those makeup gurus out there, if I'm doing something wrong or something like that, then 
I can take criticism as long as it's constructive criticism. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, if I'm doing something wrong, let me know because I want to do it right. So like I said, I profess not to be a makeup guru. I just know what looks good on me, but if I'm applying anything wrong, let me know. So if I've done that, then you want to set that. So then I'll go back over that with my powder blood, uh, powder makeup. And look, my nose went more defined, more slimmer. Anyhow, and then I just put it right over there to set that as well. That creates, well, it gives me more of a definition on my cheeks. So I blend that in pretty good. So that's over that again. I'm gonna do it like so. Fix that. Now I don't line my lips. That's because I always, I guess I could, but that's just too time consuming and that'll be fake for me to tell you I line my lips, so I don't. I love this color, this is a new color. It's um, it's by NYX, it's their matte lipstick and the color's called Strawberry Daiquiri. I love it because it has a neutral look to it. And so I just apply that. And the last thing I do, add some shimmer. I take this brush here by Sonia Kashuk, and I have some real cute eyeshadow that I use for highlighter. Yeah, I do. So I just take this. I'm gonna think I'm gonna do this real pretty. Um, probably this color. Then I just brush it right along the right along here. This just highlights that area. right here my cutest bow okay and then I just rub just a little bit above the, eye, the um, eyebrows okay. and then just hit some areas and then just blend it out and I'm done Sorry I couldn't complete this in five minutes, but I thought you guys would probably enjoy seeing how I apply my makeup for video shoots or like I said, like it was supposed to be a five minute makeup challenge, didn't turn out to be one. I really could do this in five minutes, but we all know how things happen. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, check out my video, Last Minute Entertaining Tips. So once again, thanks for watching Designing with Hope Undesigned. Designing for the home, body, and soul. Bye for now. Is that how we do it? I mean, the I think the makeup gurus, they do a pose or, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> bye guys.